All right, so some of you guys are having troubles with creating a graph on uh, Google Sheets. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quickly here. So when you're on Google Sheets or your Google Doc, you have to create this data into a Google Sheets um, page. Okay, you can copy this from your Google Docs. You can just copy and paste it right in, or you can type in the information into the Google Sheet here. What you're going to need to do is you're going to be creating two different graphs, one with the Port Hardy BC information and one with the Edmonton Alberta information. So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight the information in the box. Okay, You want to have all the data on the x-axis in the left-hand column and all the data for the y-axis in the right-hand column. Okay, So I put that down at the bottom as a little reminder here. What you're going to do is you're going to click on this little icon here that says insert chart and you are going to click on charts and choose a scatter plot okay you're going to choose the top one here you are going to have to do two different scatter plots if you're doing this on the computer just because the scale is different for both um, the data sets so you're going to go insert and it's going to create this lovely chart over here and what I want you to do is make a few adjustments here so you'll see that the there's a the data points plotted and I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna click on this uh, little arrow in the right hand corner and I'm gonna go into advanced edit okay the reason being is I want to change a few things so I'm gonna change the chart title and I'm going to change this to say something along the lines of um, altitude and air temperature Okay, so I can say that. I can say altitude and air temperature in different areas. Um, I don't so much care about font or anything like that, but I do want to have axis labels. So on my horizontal axis down here, this is my, uh, my um, manipulated variable. So this will be my altitude. Okay, and make sure you put units there as well. Um, my minimum and maximum values don't matter. They're pretty accurate here, starting from 0 to around uh, 10,000. So that's okay. We don't need to worry about that too much. I also want to make sure I have my vertical axis labeled. So here we have temperature. And that's in degrees Celsius. All right, again, I'm not too worried about my minimum and maximum because it's pretty good on the chart. Um, grid lines, I could put some minor grid lines in if I wanted to um, show some some better grid lines to see the points a little bit better. All right, that can give us a better idea of uh, where the points fall. Number format, again, I'm not too worried. Don't worry about any of this. And your data series is just data series number one, and you should be good. Here you'll see it says trend line. This would be the line of best fit. So I would like you to just choose um, linear for that and that will give you a, a pretty good line of best fit. And uh, we don't need to label the trend line. All right, and then you just click update and it should update your graph to the newest uh, edits that you've done. All right, I would actually suggest changing the title here to ensure that you've indicated which city you're doing. So. The data that I selected was for Port Hardy, British Columbia. So I'm going to add that in to my title. All right, once you've edited that, that should be good. Um, if you would like, you can then just copy the chart and enter it into your Google document which you should have um, opened as well with all of your light, uh, lab information so we can call this lab oops, lab report air temperature and altitude all right, and then you should just be able to paste the chart in and you can have it entered in with all of your additional data. All right, you will have to have two charts for this unless you wanted to just, like I mentioned before, draw out your chart and take a picture of it and then insert a picture. And you would do that simply by taking a picture on your phone or, or any device. And then you should be able to go insert 
insert an image, and then you should be able to say upload from your albums, all right, or you can take a snapshot right there if you are doing this on your phone. Hope that helps.